Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Max and what I'd like to go over today is what we'll need to do after installing a few packages for our LIMP server. When I say LIMP, I'm using the acronym known as L as in light, E as in Edward, M as in Mike, and P as in Papa. So, let's go ahead and get started. So what we did last time, we uh, went over the installation of Linux. Um, and if you need to know how to install Linux, well, we install uh, Ubuntu Linux Server 22.04. I do have the instructions in a video of how to do that. I will provide the link in the description of this video. We also went over how to install Nginx, which is a web browser, a very popular web browser, or I'm sorry, web server, uh, a very popular web server nowadays. Um, we went over that and we did that yesterday. So today what I'd like to do is go over uh, installing and configuring MariaDB. Now, when I mean installing, we already installed it, but we want to configure it. So, let me go ahead and show you how I'd like to do that. So, right now, we're here on our server, which is the 22.04 Ubuntu server. So, let me go ahead and clear the screen. So, we have our um, Maria... DB server installed, but what we'll need to do is we'll need to configure it to make it more secure. We'll need to go ahead and take out any extra databases we got and, and things like that. So in order to do that, we need to run a, a script. It's a common script. Um, and let me go ahead and show you how we're going to do that. I already have the commands typed out. I just I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste them. So this is the first command that we're gonna run. It's gonna be Maria under or I'm sorry, MySQL underscore secure underscore installation. And this is a this is a script that you want to install when you want to secure your database. It works for either MySQL or it works for Maria DB. All right, and you do need need sudo writes to install or to run this script. So there's the command right there. We're going to go ahead and press enter on our keyboard and it's going to ask us a few questions that we need to answer. Okay. Go, go ahead and put in my password and then press enter again. And here we go. So, just go ahead and read the, the question that it gives you and answer it to the best of your knowledge. So right now it's saying to begin the script, we need to go ahead and put in a root password. We never did create a root password for our database. So we'll go ahead and press enter on our keyboard without putting anything else in there. Oh, excuse me. It's early in the morning over here where I am. So, and, and our next question is, is asking, do we want to switch to Unix socket authentication? The default answer is uh, the large Y. And so what we are going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and leave it at that and accept the default answer. And all we have to do for that is press enter. Okay. Now, for this one, it's asking do we want to change our root password? And at this point, since we hadn't created a root password, we're going to go ahead and put one in. Okay. So you just go ahead and put in your root password. This is for the database itself. And it's going to ask you to confirm it by typing it in again after you press enter. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, 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 I'm jumping ahead of myself. I should have uh, typed Y for yes. Okay, now this is where we put in our new password. And yes, as you may have guessed, 
for this this is going to be my test database I am putting in the password known as password it's a secret now so don't you guys let anybody else know about this okay that was successful and now it's asking us if we want to remove anonymous users the question the answer to that is going to be yes just to make sure I always type in Y and then press enter and then it's asking do you want to disallow root login remotely the answer to that is going to be yes you don't want to be able to log into any server remotely with the root login and so I'm going to press in yes or enter and then it says you want to remove all test databases and access to it again we want to type in Y for yes and do you want to reload privilege tables now go ahead and type Y for yes or press enter okay and we are done so very good so let's go ahead and test this by logging into our uh, database server and so to do that you want to run this command it's just gonna be sudo space my SQL space minus u for um, uh, username and that's gonna be root for us and then this minus P and then you press enter for keep on your keyboard and it's gonna ask you for the password and then I'm gonna put in my super secret super super secure password and then press enter and we have and we have been able to successfully log log into our Maria database alright so let's run a few commands the first one is gonna be show databases um, so we're going to write it, type in show databases. It's going to be plural. And then at the end of each MySQL or MariaDB uh, command, you always want to put a semicolon. And then press enter. And as you can see, we, we have our databases right here. So we have done a successful login of our database. Now, just for you, just for your uh, own reference, if you want to switch databases, like currently we're in the MySQL database, if you want to switch from there to the Sys database, that's an easy enough command. You just go ahead and and uh, you type this in. You type in oops use database space and then the database name and then at the end always put in your semicolon oh let's see maybe I got that command wrong let's try databases no, okay, then let's try without databases. Just use and the database name. Okay, let's look at this again. All right. I guess I got the wrong command there. Let's uh let's type in help. Oops, okay. We are in. Hmm, that seems to be the command. Oh, we are in. The, okay, we're in the, the new database. So it did work. I guess I just didn't see it. It shows it right here. We are in the new database or the sys database. So in order for us to clear the screen, we can go ahead and type in this command. Oops. Oh, I got it backwards, didn't I? Huh. Okay. Okay. And let me see. Show databases. All right. So let's uh, switch back to the uh, MySQL database. Let's 
is just going to be use MySQL. Okay, and we are back at MySQL. Okay, that's very good. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a database because later on what we're going to do is we're going to download and install um, WordPress and WordPress needs a database so that it can operate and function because it's going to use that database to store all of member all the members uh, information including um, username password email address and things like that so let's go ahead and start with that and for that I will need the commands so this, this is just an example okay you can name your database whatever you want to but you're gonna need to create at least three things you're gonna need to create a database with the database name you're gonna need to create a user to log into that database and you're gonna need to create a password for that user so let's go ahead and begin and as I say you these commands we're gonna use these commands to create our database give me a moment we're gonna copy and paste them and we're gonna put them in here now you can name your database whatever you want okay I am going to name mine something a little bit different let's see let's say user one database okay that worked very good so let's go on to the next command and let's see here we have this one I want to clean up this command a little bit because it looks like we ran out a little bit of room there so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna open up a, a text document I'm going to type the command in here and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit like that and instead of using user1 we're just going to say uh, this is going to be the name of the user and it can be whatever you want so let's just call it um, P Diddy we'll call it P Diddy and we'll leave the password the same okay and then after that we're just gonna go ahead and copy it and then we're gonna paste it in here like that create user username and then we're gonna identify that user with this password all right and Obviously, you want to use a different password, and you want to make that as secure as possible. So from here, we go ahead and press Enter. And since we did not, since it says okay, query is okay, that means we were we was successful at creating that user and his and the password. And so after this, we should have only one more command, and that's going to be uh, to grant privileges. For all, uh, for everybody on this database. So what we're going to do again is we're going to go ahead and copy and, and paste everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my document again. Give me a minute here. And then we're going to go ahead and change the database name. What was it again? database name is user 1 DB all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in 1 DB and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in this user and that's gonna go right here all right, and so simply enough, this just means grant all privileges on this database to this user. Okay, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this, and we're going to go ahead and put this in there. Oh, 
OK. And then after that, go ahead and press Enter on your keyboard. Excellent. We are good to go then. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and log out because currently we're logged into the database as root. And then to test out the new, um, the new credentials, we will go ahead and re-log in, but under our new user, which is pdedic. Okay, so let me go ahead and um, exit out of this database. Okay, let me clear the screen. And now we will go ahead and log in with this uh, pdedic user. Now in this case, you do not need to use sudo because pdedic does not have root rights, root rights over all of the um, databases. So the command will just be mysql space minus u and then already forgot what his name is. It is going to be P Diddy. Okay. You want to go ahead and paste that in. And then it's going to be a minus P for password. We're going to press the enter button. It's going to prompt us for the password. And so I'm going to come over here, get the password, copy it, come back over here, and paste it in. All right, then press enter. Okay, we are in, we are in the uh, database. Now, let's do a show databases to see if we see our new database. Okay, we see it right here. So we have created our database and we are good to go with that. So, excellent. So we're done with that. We have created our new database with our username. We can go ahead and exit out of this. All right. So we are good to go. So we have our database created we have our database created and we have created a username and a password for that username to log into that database. So I think this is a good place to stop. In our next video, we will go over how to install WordPress and then connect WordPress to our database. So I appreciate everyone looking at my video. I hope you gained some value from, from it. Um, I will put all relevant notes and um, uh, commands in the description of the video. Other than that, thank you guys for watching using whatever uh, pronouns you're, you're, you're comfortable with. And have a good day or night wherever you are. Thank you and bye-bye.